Hello folks, Shin Tiger Curl here, that dude in the straw hat, bringing you yet another awesome video. Now, I really don't talk video games a lot on my channel, so I decided this would be a first one. And if you haven't been watching or here listening on the uh, CBR forums, then you then you should know or at least are aware of the fact that just a few uh, minutes ago or at least an hour ago, the new trail, the seven minute trail, the seven minute gameplay trailer to the next Batman Arkham game dropped. So I just finished watching it and I decided to give my thoughts on it. Uh, a lot of you don't know this probably, but I'm a big comic book nerd as well as a big comic book game fan. And while a lot of comic book video games have been hit or miss, the Batman Arkham series has been consistently good. I've played Arkham, I played Arkham Asylum, Arkham um, City, never gotten to play Arkham um, Origins. I just did Not that it sucked, it just felt like a rehash of Arkham City. And so we have Arkham Knight. Now, Arkham Knight is a direct sequel to Arkham City, in which stunner of all stunners, if you in Arkham City, the Joker dies for good. Yeah, and it sees that it has an effect on Batman. Well, Arkham City, I mean, Arkham um, Knight takes place about a year after or so after the events of Arkham City. Um, Goth Arkham City has been shut down, and Gotham has been overrun by, the, by, by Batman's rogues gallery and a virtual army of thugs and goons. And seemingly c calling the lead is the Scarecrow, Dr. Jonathan Crane who was somewhat absent in Arkham City. Well, in Arkham City, there was a small boat or barge in the middle of the bay that you could go to and hack in, and you could see that the Scarecrow was having plans, as well as a very nice jump scare. So, and also aiding the Scarecrow is a, 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 a figure named the Arkham Knight. Now, but we only got a little bits of, we only got a little bits of information based on trailers. But what we do know is that you will be exploring all of Gotham, similar to how you could in Arkham Origins. Now, the video oh, I'm not going to post it on my I'm not going to post it on my, uh, on my channel. Just go out and watch it for yourself. It's awesome. I, my description can't do it justice. So Arkham Origin, I mean Arkham Knight, starts out with Batman meeting up with Jim Gordon. They're discussing some stuff. It appears that the, the police are undermanned and overpowered by this seemingly army of military grade goons. So, uh, we're talking, they're talking about Jonathan, they're talking about the um, Scarecrow, when he gets a word, some word that um, one of his um, uh, squad men, one of his cops has, been, has crashed his car and gone missing. Batman elects to go find him, doing his simple uh, disappearing act, where, which the commissioner says, ah, every goddamn time. So anyway, the interface, the, uh, the, the, I must say, for my first impressions are the game looks beautiful. It looks like it runs at 60 frames per second. I really can't say that. I'm not really into no, but that just seems what it is to me. Uh, the gliding mechanic seems to be vastly improved, and the free flow combat, which was a heavily, heavily in part feel of the entire Arkham series, seems to have been improved and streamlined even further than it was in Arkham City, which was the zenith of how the free form, free throw combat system was, and not to mention this, they've added a few new moves, a few extra tricks that you can do, and there was even, there's even some parts where you can actually use your the goons' weapons against them until it breaks. So now, before you could just disarm them and take the weapon away and use it once, but it seemed like you can do it. That you can use the weapon more and more than you could in the uh, in the past games. Now, I also should note that returning for his third Arkham game is, of course, Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman from the from the from the '90s Batman animated series. A lot of fans love him. I myself love him because it's just so a joy to hear that gravelly, low-toned voice that Kevin could do. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, the last guy did a good job of portraying a young Batman, but just something about Kevin Conroy. So anyway, after he saves the, um, saves 
uh, the police officer, he's nearly run over by a military hardware vehicle. And he comments, where did they get this information from? Man, I mean, where did they get this, these, this, these weapons from? We're outmatched. And he asks Batman, what are you going to do? Even the odds. And you have a button that says, even the odds. And what is that? What is even the odds? The Batmobile. Yes. Since the game's entrance, since the game's um, announcement, it the one of the biggest things about Arkham Knight is that you can use the Batmobile. I mean, it's not like in Arkham Origins where the you could you had to use the Batwing sort of like as a way a ferrying a waypoint from one section of Gotham to another. Well, you couldn't actually use it. It's just something that you'd use to transition from one section of Gotham to another. No, this one, you can, in this one, you actually jump into the Batmobile in a very stylish manner and actually use it to drive around in. You actually get into a car chase in the seven-minute preview video and also interrogate one of the um, goons, which is a very good interrogation scene. Much more, it's much more gritty and more visceral than the other ones where he would just hold them by up by the by the neck and just say I, I, I can break your bones in this one the the crook actually is giving you back talk like I'm not saying shit to you fuck you Batman and he's like I'm gonna break your fucking arm you better tell me what I want to know and he tells him what he wants to know he's, and he says oh, okay just let me go he's like if you don't if you don't tell me what I if this is bullshit I'm gonna break your other one my other what? And just snaps his arm. Oh, that's good. But yeah, that was a good, I know this is a short video, but it was a short bit of information. So, yeah, just like a couple of more months, let's see, I think in May, we will be getting to be the Batman. I think this might be the best Arkham game in the entire series. And a lot of people have said that about Arkham City. It's going to be hard to top Ar Arkham City. So there's that. So anyway, those are my thoughts. If you, if you want to see the video for yourself, do a search on, on, on the search bar just above this video. Type in Batman Arkham Knight um, preview, uh, video. It should show up as a seven minute video. Check it out. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe below. It really helps out. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll answer what I can. So until the next time, this is Shin Tiger Curl, that dude in the straw hat, saying good day, and be the bat.